Okay, I've had enough of that little Apple TV remote, so I've downloaded the Apple TV remote for my iPhone. I'm going to check it out. Just go to uh, the App Store, search for Apple TV, and then look for the remote app. It's by Apple and it's free. And there's what it looks like, remote by Apple. Go ahead and launch that, and it's going to take you to uh, set up home sharing or add advice. Home sharing set up on my iTunes on my PC. I'm going to now set it up on my uh, in the remote app to enter Apple ID and passwords. Now, if you haven't uh, turned this on in iTunes, you're going to want to do that. So go to iTunes on your PC library and turn on home sharing. It'll ask you to enter your Apple ID and password, and you can turn on home sharing, and then you'll have access to your iTunes library in Apple TV and the remote. I've now configured, I'm launching Apple TV. Uh, first time you do it, make sure you've already turned Apple TV on with your regular remote. And all you'll see is a black screen here. And actually what that is 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 how you that is how you configure. You can see here in my demo it's a little dark, but you just swipe the screen up, down, left, right, and it moves the cursor. There is one button on the bottom that says home and that will back you out of any app you've gone into. Just click down, you can see I'm, I'm in Netflix now and I'm scrolling through up and down and then just push down and it takes me to uh, a selection. Again, I'll make another selection. Uh, on the bottom, like I said, there's a menu button and then on the bottom right, there's a play pause. Uh, so you can pause. I'm pl pausing now, play. And in this case, uh, for uh, Netflix, if you want to rewind, rewind you just swipe to the left and you can see it starts to rewind and then you can play resume that way um, menu backs you out and then there's a done at the top if you want to exit the app itself uh, it's pretty easy it works on iPhone and iPad and I hope this helps